15 Early Signs of Diabetes Today, we're going to talk about a serious health condition that affects millions of people around the world, diabetes. According to the World Health Organization, approximately 422 million people are living with diabetes, and this number is expected to rise in the coming years. One of the biggest challenges with diabetes is that it can often go undiagnosed for years, leading to serious complications down the road. That's why it's important to know the early warning signs and symptoms, so you can take action and get the help you need. In this video, we'll be discussing 15 early signs of diabetes that you should be aware of. Whether you're experiencing symptoms yourself, or you're worried about a loved one, this information can help you stay on top of your health and prevent long-term complications. So, without further delay, let's dive in and explore the early signs of diabetes. Remember, if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to see a healthcare provider right away to get tested and start managing your condition. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. 1. Frequent Urination Diabetes is a chronic medical condition that occurs when the body is unable to produce or properly utilize insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. One of the common symptoms of diabetes is frequent urination, also known as polyuria. This occurs because the body attempts to remove excess glucose, or sugar, from the blood by excreting it through the urine. When a person with diabetes consumes food or drinks containing carbohydrates, the body breaks down these carbohydrates into glucose. Normally, insulin helps transport this glucose into the body's cells, where it can be used for energy. However, in people with diabetes, the body either doesn't produce enough insulin or cannot properly use the insulin it does produce, which leads to elevated blood glucose levels. When blood glucose levels rise above a certain threshold, the kidneys are unable to reabsorb all the glucose back into the bloodstream. As a result, excess glucose ends up in the urine, which causes an increase in urine production and frequent urination. Moreover, when the body has high blood sugar levels, it tries to get rid of the excess sugar by producing more urine. This is because the body needs to balance the concentration of sugar in the blood and urine, so it eliminates the extra glucose through urine, causing frequent urination. Additionally, high blood sugar levels can damage the nerves that control the bladder, causing it to contract even when it isn't full. This condition, known as diabetic neuropathy, can also contribute to frequent urination. If you're finding this information helpful, please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest health and nutrition videos. 2. Increased Thirst and Dry Mouth In diabetes, the body either does not produce enough insulin, or it cannot use insulin effectively. This can lead to high levels of glucose in the blood, which can cause a variety of symptoms, including increased thirst and dry mouth. When glucose levels in the blood are high, the kidneys work to remove the excess glucose by flushing it out in the urine. This process can cause the body to lose fluids, which can lead to dehydration. Dehydration can cause the mouth to feel dry, and can also trigger thirst as the body tries to replace the lost fluids. High blood sugar levels can also cause damage to the nerves that control the salivary glands, which produce saliva. When these nerves are damaged, the glands may not produce enough saliva, leading to a dry mouth. High levels of glucose in the blood can also cause an imbalance in the body's electrolytes, such as sodium and potassium. This can affect the body's ability to maintain proper hydration levels, leading to dehydration and increased thirst. Diabetic patients may also experience a condition called diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA which can cause increased thirst and dry mouth. Decay occurs when the body does not have enough insulin to process glucose, and instead starts to break down fat for energy. This process produces ketones, which can build up in the blood and urine, causing dehydration and triggering thirst. 
3. Unexplained Weight Loss Unexplained weight loss is a common symptom of diabetes, particularly type 1 diabetes. This is because diabetes affects the way the body processes glucose, sugar, from food, which can lead to a number of metabolic changes that affect weight. We will explore some of the reasons why unexplained weight loss occurs in diabetic patients. 1. Insulin Deficiency In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas does not produce enough insulin. As a result, glucose builds up in the blood, causing hyperglycemia. The body then starts to break down stored fat for energy, which can lead to weight loss. 2. Increased urination Frequent urination can cause dehydration and loss of water weight. 3. Muscle wasting When the body does not have enough insulin to use glucose for energy, it starts to break down muscle tissue instead. This can lead to muscle wasting, weakness, and weight loss. 4. Gastroparesis Diabetes can damage the nerves that control the muscles in the digestive system, leading to a condition called gastroparesis. This can cause food to move more slowly through the digestive tract, leading to nausea, vomiting, and loss of appetite, which can result in weight loss. 5. Thyroid Problems Diabetes can also affect the thyroid gland, which regulates metabolism. If the thyroid is overactive, hyperthyroidism, it can cause weight loss, along with other symptoms such as tremors, rapid heartbeat, and sweating. 4. Fatigue and Weakness One of the common symptoms of diabetes is fatigue and weakness, which can be caused by a number of factors related to the condition. 1. Blood Sugar Fluctuations Diabetic patients often experience fluctuations in their blood sugar levels which can cause fatigue and weakness. When blood sugar levels are too high, the body's cells are unable to access the glucose they need for energy, leading to feelings of fatigue and lethargy. Conversely, when blood sugar levels are too low, the brain and muscles are starved of energy, leading to weakness and exhaustion. 2. Dehydration Diabetes can cause dehydration, as the body attempts to rid itself of excess glucose through urine. Dehydration can cause fatigue and weakness, as it reduces blood volume and impairs the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to the body's tissues. 3. Poor circulation Diabetes can also damage the blood vessels and nerves that help circulate blood throughout the body. Poor circulation can lead to fatigue and weakness, as the body's tissues are deprived of oxygen and nutrients. 4. Neuropathy Diabetic neuropathy is a type of nerve damage that can cause weakness, numbness, and pain in the legs and feet. This can make it difficult to walk or stand for extended periods of time, leading to fatigue and weakness. 5. Sleep apnea Diabetes is also linked to sleep apnea a condition in which a person's breathing is interrupted during sleep. Sleep apnea can cause fatigue and weakness, as it disrupts the body's ability to rest and recover during the night. 5. Blurred Vision Blurred vision is a common symptom experienced by many people with diabetes, which over time can damage the blood vessels in the eyes and lead to a condition called diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy occurs when high blood sugar levels cause damage to the tiny blood vessels in the retina, which is part of the eye responsible for detecting light and sending visual signals to the brain. The damaged blood vessels can leak fluid and blood into the retina, causing swelling and distorting vision. In some cases, abnormal blood vessels can also grow on the surface of the retina, which can cause scarring and further vision loss. As the condition progresses, symptoms such as blurred vision, floaters, spots or strings that seem to float in your field of vision, and difficulty seeing in low light or at night may occur. Blurred vision is often one of the first symptoms of diabetic retinopathy and may be caused by the swelling of the retina or changes in the shape of the lens of the eye. High blood sugar levels can also lead to other vision problems in people with diabetes, including Cataracts, 
a clouding of the lens of the eye, which can cause blurry vision, halos around lights, and difficulty seeing at night. Glaucoma, a condition where the pressure inside the eye builds up and damages the optic nerve, which can cause vision loss and blindness. 6. Slow Healing Wounds or Sores One of the complications of diabetes is slow healing wounds or sores which can lead to serious infections and even amputations if left untreated. There are several reasons why diabetic patients experience slow healing wounds or sores. 1. Neuropathy can cause a loss of sensation in the feet and legs, making it difficult to detect injuries or wounds. If left untreated, these injuries can become infected and lead to slow healing wounds. 2. Reduced blood flow High blood sugar levels can also damage the blood vessels in the body, reducing blood flow to the extremities. This can cause a lack of oxygen and nutrients to the wound, slowing down the healing process. 3. Weakened immune system High blood sugar levels can weaken the immune system, making it more difficult for the body to fight off infections. This can lead to slow healing wounds or sores that are more susceptible to bacterial or fungal infections. 4. Poor circulation can also slow down the healing process. Poor circulation can lead to a lack of oxygen and nutrients in the wound, making it more difficult for the body to repair itself. 5. Elevated blood sugar levels High blood sugar levels can interfere with the body's natural healing process. Elevated blood sugar levels can cause inflammation and damage to blood vessels, which can impair the healing process. 7. Tingling or numbness in hands or feet. Diabetes can cause damage to the nerves over time. And it can lead to a variety of symptoms, including tingling or numbness in the hands or feet. When blood sugar levels are high, the excess sugar can cause damage to the walls of small blood vessels that supply oxygen and nutrients to the nerves. As a result, the nerves can become damaged, leading to a loss of sensation or abnormal sensations such as tingling or numbness. Diabetes can cause damage to the myelin sheath, which is the protective covering that surrounds and insulates nerve fibers. This damage can also lead to a loss of sensation or abnormal sensations in the hands or feet. There are several different types of diabetic neuropathy, including peripheral neuropathy, autonomic neuropathy, and focal neuropathy. Peripheral neuropathy is the most common type of diabetic neuropathy, and it affects the nerves that control sensation and movement in the arms, legs, hands, and feet. In addition to tingling or numbness in the hands or feet, other symptoms of diabetic neuropathy can include burning or shooting pain, loss of reflexes, sensitivity to touch or temperature changes, poor balance or coordination, foot ulcers or infections, bladder or bowel problems, 8. Irritability or mood changes. One of the psychological symptoms that some diabetic patients experience is irritability or mood changes. There are several possible reasons why diabetes can cause irritability or mood changes. 1. Fluctuations in blood glucose levels. Diabetic patients need to monitor their blood glucose levels regularly and take medication, such as insulin or oral hypoglycemic agents to keep their blood glucose levels within a healthy range. When blood glucose levels are too high or too low, it can cause physical symptoms such as fatigue, dizziness, and headaches, as well as psychological symptoms such as irritability, mood swings, and difficulty concentrating. 2. Hypoglycemia, or low blood glucose, is a common complication of diabetes. It can occur when a diabetic patient takes too much medication, skips a meal, or engages in physical activity without adjusting their medication or food intake. Hypoglycemia can cause symptoms such as sweating, trembling, confusion, and irritability. In severe cases, it can lead to seizures or loss of consciousness. 3. Stress 
living with diabetes can be stressful, as it requires constant attention to diet, medication, and blood glucose monitoring. Stress can cause the body to release cortisol, a hormone that can increase blood glucose levels and contribute to irritability and mood changes. 4. Sleep Disturbances Diabetes can also cause sleep disturbances, such as sleep apnea and restless leg syndrome. These conditions can interfere with sleep quality and quantity, leading to fatigue, irritability, and mood changes. 5. Other medical conditions. Diabetes is often associated with other medical conditions, such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and depression. These conditions can also contribute to irritability and mood changes. 9. Skin infections, such as boils or fungal infections. Diabetes can lead to a range of complications, including skin infections such as boils and fungal infections. High blood sugar levels can weaken the immune system, making it more difficult for the body to fight off infections. This means that even minor cuts, scrapes, or insect bites can become infected and lead to more serious skin conditions. People with diabetes are more prone to developing skin conditions such as dry skin, which can lead to cracks in the skin that provide an entry point for bacteria or fungi. High blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels and reduce blood flow to the skin, which can impair the skin's ability to heal and fight off infections. Fungal infections are also more common in people with diabetes due to the presence of excess glucose in the body. Fungi thrive in warm, moist environments, and high blood sugar levels can create an ideal environment for fungal growth. Common fungal infections in people with diabetes include jock itch, athlete's foot, and ringworm. Boils, or skin abscesses, are also more common in people with diabetes. Boils occur when hair follicles become infected and filled with pus. The weakened immune system and poor circulation associated with diabetes can make it more difficult for the body to fight off these infections. Additionally, high blood sugar levels can contribute to the growth of bacteria that cause boils. 10. Dark patches of skin, usually on the neck, armpit, or groin. Dark patches of skin known as acanthosis nigricans, are a common skin manifestation observed in individuals with diabetes. This condition typically affects skin folds and creases, such as the neck, armpit, or groin, and presents as a thickened, velvety, and hyperpigmented area. Acanthosis nigricans is considered a skin marker for insulin resistance, which is a key underlying feature of type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance occurs when the body's cells become less responsive to insulin, leading to increased levels of insulin in the bloodstream. This, in turn, triggers the production of skin cells and melanin, the pigment responsible for skin color, resulting in the dark patches observed in acanthosis nigricans. It is important to note that acanthosis nigricans is not a harmful condition itself, but rather a sign of an underlying health issue. Therefore, individuals with acanthosis nigricans should seek medical attention to determine the underlying cause and receive appropriate treatment. This may include managing blood glucose levels through diet, exercise, and medication, as well as addressing other underlying conditions such as obesity or hormonal imbalances. 11. Increased hunger, especially after meals. One of the primary symptoms of diabetes is increased hunger, particularly after meals. There are several reasons why this occurs. 1. Insulin resistance. In individuals with type 2 diabetes, the body becomes resistant to the effects of insulin, which is the hormone that regulates glucose levels in the bloodstream. As a result, the body's cells are unable to absorb glucose effectively and glucose remains in the bloodstream. The brain senses the high levels of glucose and interprets it as a sign of hunger, leading to increased hunger and cravings for sugary or starchy foods. 2. Low blood sugar. In individuals with type 1 diabetes, 
the pancreas does not produce enough insulin to regulate glucose levels in the bloodstream. As a result, glucose levels can drop to dangerously low levels, leading to a condition called hypoglycemia. One of the symptoms of hypoglycemia is increased hunger, as the body tries to replenish its glucose stores. 3. Poor glycemic control When blood glucose levels are consistently high, as is the case in uncontrolled diabetes, the body may not be able to effectively use glucose for energy. This can lead to feelings of fatigue and weakness, which may be interpreted by the brain as hunger. 4. Gastroparesis Gastroparesis is a condition in which the muscles in the stomach do not function properly, leading to delayed emptying of food from the stomach into the small intestine. This can cause feelings of fullness and bloating, but can also lead to increased hunger as the body tries to compensate for the delayed emptying. 5. Polyphagia Polyphagia is a medical term used to describe excessive hunger and increased appetite. It is a common symptom of uncontrolled diabetes and can be caused by a variety of factors, including hormonal imbalances and changes in the body's metabolism. 12. Erectile dysfunction in men Erectile dysfunction, ED, is a common condition in men that can have multiple causes. One of the risk factors for developing ED is diabetes, and this association has been well established by numerous studies. The link between diabetes and ED is believed to be due to damage to the blood vessels and nerves that supply the penis. This can restrict blood flow to the penis, which is essential for achieving and maintaining an erection. Diabetes can also damage the nerves that are responsible for triggering the physical response required for an erection. The autonomic nervous system, which controls involuntary functions such as heart rate, breathing, and digestion, also controls the blood flow to the penis during sexual arousal. Diabetes can cause damage to these nerves, reducing their ability to transmit signals to the penis, resulting in ED. Diabetes can also affect the levels of hormones that are involved in sexual function, such as testosterone. Men with diabetes may have lower levels of testosterone, which can also contribute to ED. Furthermore, Diabetes is associated with other health conditions, such as obesity, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol levels, all of which can also contribute to ED. The risk of developing ED is higher in men with poorly controlled diabetes, as high blood sugar levels can exacerbate the damage to blood vessels and nerves. Therefore, managing diabetes effectively through lifestyle changes, medication, and regular monitoring can help reduce the risk of developing ED. 13. Menstrual Irregularities in Women Menstrual irregularities are a common problem among women with diabetes. These irregularities can manifest in several ways, including irregular periods, heavy bleeding, or no periods at all. Several factors contribute to the development of menstrual irregularities in women with diabetes. 1. Hormonal imbalances Diabetes can cause hormonal imbalances that disrupt the menstrual cycle. Insulin resistance, a common feature of type 2 diabetes, causes an overproduction of insulin and underproduction of sex hormones, including estrogen and progesterone. This hormonal imbalance can cause menstrual irregularities. 2. Nerve damage Diabetes can cause nerve damage or neuropathy, which can affect the functioning of the reproductive system. Nerve damage can lead to decreased sensitivity to hormones that regulate the menstrual cycle, leading to irregular periods. 3. Obesity Obesity is a common complication of diabetes, and it can also contribute to menstrual irregularities. Excess body fat can cause hormonal imbalances insulin resistance, and inflammation, which can disrupt the menstrual cycle. 4. Polycystic Ovary Syndrome, COS COS is a common hormonal disorder characterized by enlarged ovaries with multiple cysts. 
it is commonly seen in women with type 2 diabetes. COs can cause irregular periods, heavy bleeding, and other menstrual irregularities. 14. Recurring Yeast Infections Recurring yeast infections in diabetic patients are a common problem, and there are several reasons why this occurs. 1. High blood sugar levels. Diabetes is a condition that causes elevated blood sugar levels. Yeast thrives in high sugar environments, so when a diabetic patient's blood sugar levels are not well controlled, this can lead to an overgrowth of yeast, which can cause a yeast infection. 2. Weakened immune system. This can make it easier for yeast to grow and cause an infection. 3. Changes in vaginal pH. Yeast infections are most commonly associated with the vagina. Diabetes can cause changes in vaginal pH levels, which can create an environment that is more conducive to yeast growth. 4. Antibiotics. Diabetic patients may be more prone to infections, and as a result, they may be prescribed antibiotics more frequently. Antibiotics can disrupt the balance of bacteria and yeast in the body, leading to an overgrowth of yeast and subsequent infection. 5. Other underlying health conditions. Diabetes is often associated with other health conditions that can increase the risk of yeast infections. For example, diabetic patients may also have an autoimmune disorder which can affect the body's ability to fight off infections. 6. Poor hygiene. Poor hygiene can also contribute to the development of yeast infections. Diabetic patients may be more prone to neglecting their hygiene due to complications related to their condition, such as neuropathy or limited mobility, which can make it harder to maintain good hygiene practices. 15. Itching or burning sensation in the genital area. Uncontrolled diabetes can cause a range of complications, including nerve damage, which can affect different parts of the body, including the genital area. When the nerves in the genital area are damaged, they can cause a range of symptoms, including itching or a burning sensation. Early detection and treatment can make a big difference in managing diabetes and preventing complications. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on health and wellness. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.